Grade 5, math number 12, numerical expressions. Okay, here we go. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that has numbers and operation signs, you know, plus, minus, multiplication, division signs, but doesn't have an equal sign. Isn't that odd? An equation has an equal sign, but a numerical expression does not have an equal sign. We can use a numerical expression to describe what's happening. Think of a numerical expression as telling a story. Emma walked 12 miles and Tala walked 11 miles. How many miles did they walk all together? Emma walked 12, Tala walked 11. The word all together tells you that it's a plus sign. So we have 12 plus 11. 12 plus 11 is a numerical expression that represents how far they walked. The word altogether told us to use a plus sign and that it was addition. But there's no equal sign. See that? It's just telling the story of what happened. Emma walked, Tala walked. Okay? We can do subtraction numerical expressions. Bob had 21 pounds of camel food. His camel ate 7 pounds today. How much food is remaining? 21 is the pounds of food he had to start with. 7 pounds is the amount that the camel ate today. And the word remaining tells us that we're going to have to subtract. So 21 minus 7 is a numerical expression telling this story. See? It's a subtraction story. We can do a multiplication story. Emma made two pans of cupcakes. There are 12 cupcakes to each pan. How many did she make? Two pans, 12 cupcakes to each pan, 2 times 12. Two pans, 12 cupcakes per pan. And the fact that it said each and how many told us that we had to multiply. See? We can tell a division numerical expression story. Tala has 10 cookies to share between 5 people. How many do they each get? So sharing between and each tells us it's division. This is how many cookies she had, and that's the number of people. Okay? A numerical expression can use parentheses to group information together. Emma spent 90 minutes doing her homework. She finished her English homework in 30 minutes and her spelling in 25 minutes. How many minutes did she spend doing her math homework? So the story we tell is there was 90 minutes of homework time, English was 30 minutes, spelling was 25 minutes, and if we add these two together, we can get a total that we could subtract from the 90 to find out what the math homework time was. See? So it's not asking for an answer, it's just a numerical expression telling you the story. Okay? Tala made 12 cupcakes, then she baked three more pans of 12. How many cupcakes did she make altogether? She started with 12, and then she made three pans of 12. So this story tells us what this story tells us. The altogether tells us we need to do addition, and that the word of, three pans of 12, tells us that this is multiplication. See? 12 plus 3 times 12 tells us this story. How about this? Is 4 times 5 equals 20 a numerical expression? Is that a numerical expression? No. And do you know why? Because it's got an equal sign and an answer. It is not a numerical expression. Remember, a numerical expression does not have an equal sign. It has numbers and operation signs, but no equal sign. Okay? So, you can write numerical expressions for word problems, and then you can solve them. Okay? Use the clue words to tell you if it's add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Right? I'll see you next video. I hope this helped. Bye!